Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, uh, February uh, 11th meeting of the Northampton License Commission. Um, uh, Commissioner Campadelli and I are here. Commissioner Levin is absent today. Um, the um, uh, meeting is uh, being uh, audio and video recorded as usual. And also, as usual, does anybody have any uh, public comment during the public comment section for any item that is not on the agenda? <coughs> Seeing none, uh, I'll move to the first item on the agenda. An update from uh, Mr. Sewer uh, regarding uh, the two licenses uh, at Center Street and on um, uh, Main Street. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, we have a letter, you probably have it too, from the building commissioner. Uh, did you see this one? Today? I haven't seen that yet, but I was aware that that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Basic, basically, what he's saying is uh, he was there, and uh, there's still some uh, electrical issues in the basement, and you're having a contractor bring your electrician. Yeah, I, I, I believe it's going to be set with a final tomorrow, from what they had said. They gave us a temporary um, a month ago, okay. and um, they did the final fire inspection and building inspection today, and, and the issues that they found were related not to the bar work that we did, but to some building stuff that was prior to my ownership, but they're going to take care of all that. They're actually working on it now. Really? Okay. And uh, when do you think uh, you'll be able to... Well, we opened, uh, we, we had previously opened to get people in off of the line, uh, Iron Horse line, and had that done on two nights the second week of January. We expect to be fully open within the next few weeks. Um, okay. You know, it's it's the only thing we're waiting on is a piece of refrigeration equipment, and they can't do anything with the signage outside with this weather. But there's new signage that's going up. And so. so the service of alcohol, you expect not till the first of April. First of April. Yeah, because it's a, it's a seasonal. We're going to oh, move forward right, with course. conversion on it, right, but right, right. my sense is right. even with the conversion, it's going to right. take. Of course, but yeah. April first is the date that we ex okay. expect it with the license. But you've already had customers in the place. Yeah, I just haven't been able to serve them anything, but okay, that will right. change soon. So. The, the issue that the building has isn't something really No, it's not. It was some electric. They found an open junction box in the basement from previous to our ownership and things like that. It was minor stuff. And the building inspector's office has been great. The fire department's been great. So okay. I expect everything should be set for tomorrow. All right. And uh, the, uh, the old church? Yep, it's moving. I mean, things are moving forward. The weather's been difficult, but things are moving. Uh -huh. and, you know, we'll keep you updated. I'll come in monthly and right. give you further updates. But the building department's been in and out of there on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. so. Are you still aiming uh, for what you call a soft Summer, opening yeah, we're in late June? Yeah, we're keeping our fingers okay. crossed that everything should be. How many how many square feet um, uh, will be open to the public, do you think, when you, well, when, you open, when you first open up? Well, all but back office and, and kitchen areas will be public areas. So the whole thing that you had originally um, yeah, yeah, everything is just, the plans, the original plans uh, haven't changed. And the only thing that's changed a little bit is the exterior is changing a little bit in terms of the public areas, just to pull it back a little from the sidewalk after having conversations with the DPW this past, uh, it would have been during the summer. Um, but all of the interior plans are the same plans that we submitted to the building, and we expect everything should go pretty well with all of those plans. Are they the same ones, so that have they, because uh, it was a while ago that you submitted the plans to us for the area that would be covered by as a license, as a license premise. Yeah, is that the same? Yes, yeah, same, same first floor. The, we, uh, we had first floor bar for a concession bar in the main area, and then we had, uh, um, um, in the lower level, we had a bar area. Um, so yeah, none of that's changed. In fact, all of that construction was pretty much previously all roughed out and finished. Right. It's just the finish work that hadn't been, sure. hadn't been done. Just because of the lapse of time, though, if, if you find that the license premise is different from what was the yeah. plan that was submitted. Um, yeah, and I can submit, merit. just so you have it, because it's been a while. We have uh, 11 by 17 size drawings. It might be better for you to, you can just see the actual drawing. Just whether we have on file that will show the actual yeah. premise that you will be operating when it. I, well, I think, Mary, you should have attached to the existing license that went into the ABCC, because those haven't changed. They haven't? Nope. Okay. No, and I don't foresee anything changing okay. like that. Okay, that's so. fine. I just wanted to, to make yeah. sure that it was And I'll update you, you know, I'll come in monthly just to keep you abreast of what's going on. Okay, happen. thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, Brian, do you have to wait? Oh, Brian, do you have any questions for Mr. Sewer? I don't. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you. I, I would ask oh. that you approve a common victim for oh, the geez. premise. Oh, okay. uh, you have an application for a common victim. Yes. Okay. For, for uh, the, um, it would be called the green one. This is the center street one. Okay. okay. Um, I'll make a motion to approve a common victim license for uh, 
twenty it was a twenty eight cent twenty six twenty eight center street. Second. I uh, second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. All right, the um, next item, uh, application for a conversion of license um, uh, from seasonal alcohol club license to annual all alcohol club license for Chapter 144, the Acts of 2008. This is a special legislation that the city of Northampton got. Pine Grove Golf Club, DBA Pine Grove Golf Club. Is somebody here to speak to this? Mr. Murillo? Yes, it is I. Okay, thank you. Could you just tell us how... How are your plans? What are your plans? And how are things going? Uh, with the Everything will go pretty much as it always has been. It's just that I need the uh, wintertime operation to uh, accommodate requests and so forth to so use the place. Okay. You're doing functions and things like that? Yeah, functions, parties, sliding, and, you know, skiing, that okay. type of thing. Will you be open uh, daily you know, for the service of alcohol, not just functions during the winter? Um, on a limited basis, probably not well, not seven days a week, but probably four. Okay. Right. And we have everything it looks mm -hmm. like here. So, um, these are the your five, if we can on five seasonal all call license. Some of them have converted. This one was still seasonal, but he always has the right under. But he has the right under the under the special act to convert. So. Um, yeah, so, um, do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, I'll take a motion then to approve the conversion. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, conversion from seasonal all alcohol club license to an all alcohol club license. Okay, um, second, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next one, application for new Class 1 car dealer license, Country Hyundai, uh, Carla Cosenzi, uh, Ms. Cosenzi, nice to see you. How are things going with your new business? Good? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, um, we have everything that we need. Okay. Uh, when, when will the Volkswagen place be ready? Uh, hopefully Friday, pending our CO, so. Yeah. You would just be transferring your existing license from one to the other? Yes. So, okay. I don't think she needs to come for us for that, does she? Um. Uh, she has an existing Class 1 license for the existing Volkswagen dealer up there on David Road, right? Does she have to appear before us for the transfer? She transfer location? Yeah. I don't think so. No, okay. okay yeah. Okay, good. I, I, Unless we find differently, let you okay. know. Uh, you know, we would just do that. Just let us know when the new address I is official. I can just change the address. Okay, yeah. great. I'll so, we'll let you know as soon as we get the CO and we're all set. Um, are there any other questions? Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. Yeah. I'll make a motion. We uh, approve the application for a Class One car dealer license for Country Hyundai. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Uh, the next is application for change of manager license uh, for Pride Stores at 375 King Street. Proposed manager Larry Williams. Hi, could you identify yourself for the record? Larry Williams. Larry Williams, okay. Um, so, um, you haven't been managing at this location? Before. I've been working there for about a month. You've been working there for about a month? Have you been a, a, a manager of package store or other place where there's a service of alcohol before? Yes. Uh, where? Uh, uh, Dallas. I've worked in Dallas for years, and I've been in retail for 20 years. So. Okay. And it's involved the service of alcohol? Yes. Those places, okay. Um, okay. And... Um, I see you have uh, tips, surf, tips training, yes. and um, the other employees that will report to you there, uh, are they also surf safe or tips trained? Tips trained, yes, absolutely. Okay. 
We appear to have everything we need then. Um, do you have any questions? No. Uh, make a move. Okay, go ahead. Uh, make a motion to approve the uh, change manager for the uh, Pride stores on uh, 375 King Street. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The next item, um, application for a change in attainment license number 426, 1 Pearl Street, DBA, Tully O'Reilly's and 11th proposed change at karaoke. Is Mr. McColgan here? I don't think he's actually here. Okay. We had, there, we had uh, uh, checked with the chief. We just saw that. Um, the, uh, uh, there being no problem with this, mm -hmm. um, do you have any any questions about the change? Okay. We can approve it in Mr. McColgan's absence. I'll just make a motion that we approve the change in the entertainment license to add karaoke for Tully O'Reilly's and Levens. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, number 10, application for short-term wine and malt liquor license, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish. Uh, on resident of the Polish Heritage Group. Mr. Zuski, how are you? Yes, thank you. I'm Sam Zuski. Okay. Uh, and is this your annual dinner? Yeah, we have actually two. It's this one one in March, and then we have one in the fall season. That's right. Our semi annual dinner. Similar. Well, one we have all alcohol. This one here is beer and wine. And it's a dinner. The uh -huh. one in the fall, we have music, dancing, and so forth. This is strictly dinner fundraising. Okay. Um, okay. I see that we have the. Uh, uh, information about the servers, insurance also, insurance also. and um, update. Okay, uh, I have no questions for Mr. Zuski. Okay, I'll make a motion we approve the application for short term license um, for the Polish Heritage Group. Second. All in favor? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, item 11, a whole bunch of applications for short-term wine and malt licenses for the Academy of Music. We have um, Saturday, March 1st. We have Saturday, March 8th. We have Tuesday, April 1st. We have Friday, April 4th. And we have Saturday, April 5th. These are all performances at the Academy of Music. Uh, anything? Um, about these. Uh, oh, no. sorry, I'll, sorry, I'll say that. Right. <laughs> uh, Go ahead, say what you want sure. to say. Uh, I'm Alison Clayton, I'm the front class events manager at the Academy of Music. Um, these are just the next two months of um, events that we would like to serve beer and wine um, for concession sales at the theater. Um, okay. So it's just pre show and intermission. Okay. I see the uh, wholesalers on file, the usual information is here. Um, and you're asking for a uh, fee waiver on mm -hmm. this. Uh, I have no further questions for this. You have no questions. I'll make a motion to approve all five um, events for the Academy of Music and uh, granting a request for the fee waiver. Okay, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item number 12, application for short-term all-alcoholic liquor license from the Northampton St. Patrick's Day Association. Uh, this is for the awards dinner on Saturday, March 1st. And um, um, did you just identify yourself for the record? Hello, Sean Sullivan on behalf of the association. As you said, this is our annual awards dinner where we on behalf of our Parade Marshal and Vernon's award winner. Who is the winner this year? Uh, the Parade Marshal is Larry Costello, retired police officer, local real estate agent. The Vernon's award winner is uh, Timothy Driscoll. Is he won before? Uh, which one? Tim. No, no, but he's our, we have to keep our server happy in the uh, right. St. Patrick's Association. Okay. Um, okay, so you're doing it at Parish Hall on Holly Street. Um, and it looks like we have the information liability insurance on the check server information. Anything else? Mm -hmm. so, insurance okay. also. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, do you have any questions for Mr. Not Sullivan? Okay. Um, I'll make a motion then we approve this application for short-term all alcohol license at the St. Patrick's Association. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. This is item 13, the Northampton Center for the Arts application for short-term wine and malt liquor license. This is at the parlor room at 32 Masonic Street. Um, Do you have insurance? Okay, February, Friday, February 21st. So they've updated it for the room. And the Center for the Arts is requesting a fee waiver. Do you have any no questions to say about this? Okay. Um, I'm going to make a motion. Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, short term wine and malt liquor license from Northampton Center of the Arts and grant the uh, fee waiver. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Item number 14. We are just motoring through these. Um, application for short term wine and malt liquor license, trustees of Forbes, Forbes Library. Your event is on February 10th. Uh, tell us something about your event. Well, we had an uh, artist reception. I'm sorry, we have two, right? We have two. That's one right, is, I'm sorry. One is in the future I, I and one is yesterday. Because the, this one was yesterday. One was yesterday, and we approved that. We're approving that retroactively, are we? Okay, no, 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 I know. We, <laughs> we, we, no, I knew this was coming. That's right. Uh, so we have March 8th, yeah. respectively, then. Um, How'd your event go yesterday? It's great. Okay. Yeah. Thank and um, so you have the event on March eighth, an artist reception. Um, <coughs> and you have Global Wines as your distributor. Um, anything about the usual? The usual. So. Wine and cheese. In that room. Okay. In the gallery. All right. Um, do you have any questions? Okay, I'll make a motion. We accept the application of the Trustees for the Library for the short term wine and malt licenses on February 10th and for March 8th. And you're requesting a fee waiver. Uh, I'll move that we grant the fee waiver. Second. In favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, item number 15 application for a new common VIC license. Uh, GZ Bagel, Bagel Incorporated, DBA Tandem Bagel, Rose Manager Brian Greenwood. Hi, Hi. just identify yourself for the record. Brian Greenwood from Tandem Bagel. Okay, uh, tell us what you plan to do. At this uh, location. We, cur we currently operate a store, it's a full cafe in East Hampton. Uh, we produce bagels in East Hampton, but we, we're a full service uh, breakfast and lunch establishment, so we serve fresh bagels, coffee. Uh, pastries, sandwiches, soups, and salads. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to do the same in Northampton. The only difference is we would make the bagels in East Hampton and deliver them to Northampton. Okay. You're going to be inside that gym there? You know, the fire in, station? Inside the Northampton Athletic Center, correct. Okay. You're in the old train station, right? In East, East Hampton, yes. Uh, I have no questions. No questions. Okay. I make a motion. Okay. Um, so make a motion to grant the common bit license for GZ Bagel Inc., DBA Tandem Bagel Company, um, manager Brian Greenwood. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Did you bring the yep. information? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. That would be great. Okay. Um, I've got that too. Okay. I'll be right back. Thanks. Item number 16, the application for transfer of common virtual license. Uh, uh, Jessica Saravia Incorporated, DBA Pinocchio Pizza. Um, okay, we are just transferring the common VIC license. This is to a new operator at the same location. Yeah. Okay. You are Jessica Saravia? No, I'm Erica Saravia. Uh, sorry? Erica Saravia. Okay. And uh, tell us um, something about what you uh, plan to do with the location. We just plan to sell slices, mm -hmm. drinks, 
calzone. The same as before? Yeah. Okay. But not alcohol. Okay. We're not doing alcohol. Alright. So, wait a minute. The, um, the old license was held by... Lucianos. By who? Lucianos. Luciano. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're just taking over the pizza business yeah, yeah, there? Yeah, to okay. sell slices. Okay, yeah. and you will not, um, well right now anyway, I'm not, we're not pinning you down, you're not planning on serving wine and beer? No. Okay, all right. So we have all the information. Mm -hmm. and, um, okay, there was nothing. Because the previous owner paid for the common vic at mm -hmm. the end of 2013, right. I was mm -hmm. not going to charge okay. them. Okay. Right. And um, I'm sure Mary explained to you about the BYOB yeah. until the liquor, the, the license is sold by the previous operator. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, it's still attached to that. You can't help but people bring, bring their own. Okay. But after that, the usual BYOB. Um, provisions of city um, and state law apply. Okay. So, so right now, uh, nothing. You know, people can't bring in a, a bottle of wine or a bottle no. of beer. Okay. 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 Until, until Mr. Um, Matarazzo has has so, uh, okay. sold the license and it's no longer attached to the premise. Okay. You good with that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, uh, I'll make a motion then. Uh, Mr. Do you have any questions? I don't. About this. Okay. Uh, to transfer the Common Vic license to um, uh, Jessica Saravia Inc. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. That is a um, it's a wine and malt yeah. license, but it's it was one of the annual ones. One right? of the converted annual one of the converted annual ones. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay, approval of minutes December fourth, two thousand thirteen. Did we have a chance to look at those? Send it to us. Maybe I didn't send it. All right, we'll move that off. Okay. Um, okay. Um, before we go on, did you have any other? No, no, no. I was right. just listening to this stuff. Right. Right. Okay. No, no, no. I just did want you to wait while we went through all the other stuff that has nothing to do with If you had another question. I didn't so. know that you were on the uh, commission. Yeah. Bob yeah. said something about it, and I. Uh, I thought he got the message wrong. <laughs> are, you, are you a regular there? Oh, um, I try to be. I no, know. I've known him for oh. 20 years. Yeah, a friend of the family. Yeah. So. I, I play one round of golf there a year. So. <laughs> I, I'm no good. Okay. All right, good luck with it. Take Thank care, y'all. Later, right? I'll see you. Uh, do you play golf? Yeah. yeah. Are you good? Uh, better than me. If I've got to be better than you. When I first start, I uh, start out with about 24 handicap, and then by the end of the year, I'm down around 18 or so. so really? If, if I keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah progress. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, all right. Um, first item, Mary, go through your. Go through I did this. send a letter, certified mail, to Ms. Weller to ask her to come to the next meeting with her intentions about the eclipse license. It's been some time since I've heard from her. At the end of the year, when she renewed, she had two potential buyers, and mm -hmm. no one has come forward with an application so far. So I asked her to come to the next meeting. Right. And this is an annual, but it's not one of the converted annuals. But for our purposes, that doesn't make any difference. It shouldn't make any difference on the market, right? Right, but this license is within the quota. So if by some chance we were to get to the end of the year and she surrendered it or not renewed it, there would be a license within the quota available. For wine and all. So somebody could get it free. Um, 
for, or for the uh, for the application, the application fee. Right. And then the without and the, the conversion part added. Yeah. 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 Or without no without paying. Right. Without paying the existing order holder for the, for right. the license. Right. If she were to right. either surrender it or not renew it at okay. the end of this year. Right. And we are indifferent. Right. We just are going to tell her you have to do it. Show your action. Have something. Or we're going to we're going to take it. Right. You could do that. You could do that. You could give her a time limit if you wanted to. <clears throat> well, what happens if she's not able to find a buyer and then it just comes back to us? Right. Well. Even though she's actively, or maybe, I don't know if she is or not, advertising it or not. But we allowed her to renew it because she had potential buyers. Right. So. Yeah, it's not in use. It's not in use. No. No, is it Eclipse thing or they shut down? There's a Whatever Dover thing. key in there now. I got you. Uh, and we don't have anybody waiting on a waiting list? I can't keep a waiting list. Oh, okay. Well, I, mean, I guess in other ways we can stay here. Here's the other side. There have well, been, no. there've been several calls and I've given them her number and I've also given them now Mr. Matarazzo's number because they said I could. So in, there's in two. fact, someone called today and they gave both numbers, but so yeah, far so you've already kind of demanded her to be here at the next meeting for this, so we can get some questions. In. Just as an update. Yeah. Good. So, Matarazzo, we will give him a reasonable amount of time. We've given her a reasonable amount of time. Mm -hmm. But both of those, whoever, whoever acquires either of those licenses, won't have to pay the conversion fee. They will have an annual right. thing. So they'll just pay an annual. Right. Wide and Malt uh, license fee to the city, <coughs> and in the case of Maya Rotson, we might have to pay him for the license. In the case of her, she surrenders it, nothing. Right. Her clubs in. And you have an ABCC notice of a hearing that we received notice of. Outstanding licenses. Uh, the Domino's has paid as of February 3rd. I allowed him to waive the late fee that he would have been charged on the February 1st because the first was over a weekend and he did come in bright and early that morning. Um, La Vera Cruzana has also paid for their comic and entertainment license. The only one I have left that is outstanding but now has a late fee a monthly late fee of $15 is added on is Berkshire Yogurt. I sent a, several certified letters mm -hmm. and also the Board of Health has said, sent cease and desist letters to their um, delinquent licensees and Berkshire Yogurt is one of them. Wow. And that's the operated? only license that has not paid. Never been in there. Are they still... Uh, is there one in the corner across yeah. from the rooster? They're operating. The the Board of Health has the power to shut them down. Cease yeah. operations if they don't pay their licenses. All I can really do is charge late fees. Oh, we can't shut them down. Yeah, huh. yeah. yeah really. <laughs> what good is it? <laughs> What else have we got there? Anything That's else? it. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other new business? No. Um, okay. Hearing none, I'll move the adjourn. Second. Second. And all in favor, aye.